<laughs> oh, the chief of the Hero League. What a nice surprise. Oh, well, I can't say I'm surprised. After all, your little group of heroes pulled me away in the middle of my afternoon yoga session. Rudely pulled me, might I add. Now, oh, let's see. I have a couple of questions. First, why am I here in the middle of an interrogation room when I'm supposed to be having a mandatory therapist appointment? Dr. Ather will be so sad to have missed our daily little conversations. We've gotten quite close, you know. <laughs> oh, officer, a bit violent today, are we? Maybe you need a session with Dr. Aether. Although nowadays he's quite booked. My, my, officer, getting handsy on the first date. Let me have my dinner first before you start ripping at me. Oh, that's more like it. Officer, I do like a nice little chat before getting to second base. So what's on your mind, officer? <laughs> oh, a tip about a breakout. Who's the sneaky lucky dog that gets to leave this hellhole today? Me? Oh, certainly not. How can it be me, officer? You wiped out my entire army and resources when you captured me about three months ago, remember? You pulled out your little laser gun on me and told me to halt and surrender my army. I do say, officer. You do know how to flatter a man, but sadly, I don't like being told no. I prefer being the one to order. <laughs> But for you, I suppose I could make a exception. Oh, here we are again. Take it seriously. Be proper. Speak formally. Always with the formalities. Just loosen up. Do you know why I like you, officer? It's because you're no fun. You always go and talk all seriously. Act on the orders of the League, even though you're the chief. Everyone quivers at the sight of you, nay, at the mere mention of your name, because of this tough act you pull. I've never even seen you smile, and oh, I do bet you have the prettiest smile. But back to my main point, you're so serious, so calculative, so cold. <laughs> it makes me shiver. <laughs> makes me curious. What are you, exactly? What ticks this brain of yours off? Why are you so serious? You know, when I first saw you, marching in that little penthouse with that black suit of yours wearing the most serious of expressions, I think that was the time. I realized I really wanted to know you. I remember, I have seen you before that day. You were new, but the way you ran up to me stabbed my little goons and thrusted your knife into their throats without the bat of an eyelash before pinning me down. That moment right there, I wanted you to know. You intrigued me. I wanted nothing more than to know who this black masked figure was that could easily kill a man. Because from what I remember, and my memory is quite sharp, your group doesn't kill. That's the golden rule, right? Etched in a golden plaque that sits right in front of your office are the words, blood shall never spill. But how could you stab my men just like that? I wanted to so badly as you handcuffed me down to rip your head off right then and there to examine it. A hero that kills without an ounce of remorse, without a second thought. I wanted to rip your scalp with my teeth, grab a pair of surgical tools, and just rip your brain apart, pick it apart, place it under a microscope, and examine it. I wanted to dose it in resin, and to preserve every part of you, every part of your brain, and once I figured out the secret, do you know what I would plan to do with that information, officer? Ask me, officer. I said ask. <laughs> oh, what? 
what, 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 yes, that is the perfect question. What will I do once I uncover it all? What would I do once I find out what makes you tick? I would break you. I would shatter you, destroy every piece of your oh-so-serious brain, rip it apart, tear out that tick, and make it consume you. And then I would rebuild it all up again, piece by piece, like an artist putting together broken glass. I would craft your brain, picking up the destroyed pieces, throwing out the annoying bits, and I would build you anew, build you perfectly in my image. I would be Picasso, and I would make you my masterpiece. I will show you insanity, make you lose that serious side. I would paint your brain, thrust you into a world of madness. And you will come out a piece, a part of me, the perfect villain. I sound so sure? Well, officer, I can only sound that way because I am. Do you know why I was kept in the basement? Why a powerless, albeit psycho, villain like me was trapped under with those mutants? I mean, you've really got to think about it. I've only used weapons, gadgets, goons. Money is the only power, but in this world, in the villain world, that's kind of useless, isn't it? After all, what would money do if you had the power to create, manipulate, and force people to hand it over in the snap of your fingers? Why did everyone fear little old me? That wouldn't do now. Struggling is useless. <laughs> Freedom. Sleep tight, officer. <laughs>